welcome in game three from weekend number three of the Hoop 6 Pro Am 2022 Summer League brought to you by Jordan Brand. We have got what is going to be one of the games of the day. Some are saying Worthing Thunder are taking on the elite Bulldogs. Both sides absolutely loaded with talent. Worthing Thunder lining up with Andre Arasol in one, Ishmael Fontaine in seven, Matthew Brian Amening in 11, Hafiz Abdul in three, Orlin Jackman in nine, Malachi Fochi Yedong in eight, Tain Sangu in six, Tom Ward wearing five, Baron Ize in 12, and LJ Morris in 10. As uh, they've been shifted. They've been shifted to the other side of the floor. Ishmael Fontaine is let us know that he's worried he might get vertigo from the situation. That's a quote from Ishmael Fontaine. They are unfazable. They cannot be messed up. Don't you worry about that. The lead Bulldogs, they'll be in red. Chuck Duru wears 10. Prince Latte wears 9. Sean Gyro wears three, Kai Walker in seven, Patrick Lanapekin wears one, Sam Cater in eight, Franklin Agu in 12, Josh Jogley in six, Junior Vasquez Ramirez in five, Mayawan Mohamed rocking 11, and Reese Sundermolt in four for what is going to be an absolute barnstormer. Elite Bulldogs taking on the Worthing Thunder. Worthing Thunder, of course, coached by Zaire Taylor. Stephen Andrew is the head coach for the elite Bulldogs. Just a reminder, if this is your first game of the day or of the Summer League this year, 10 minutes running clock for the first three periods. And then in the final period of the game, final two minutes of the game are played with a stop clock, free throws. The rest of the game, we do not have free throws until the final two minutes of the contest instead you receive one point fewer than your shot attempt if you miss any active shooting must being found and if you make you get an and one very simple example you shoot a two you miss you're fouled you get one you make you get three simple everybody happy everybody clear yes we are team fouls they're a little bit different but we'll only go into those when it matters both sides. <laughs> Both sides are at centre court. We are ready for the opening tip-off here. Worthing Thunder in black. The Elite Bulldogs in red. More mind games from the Elite Bulldogs, perhaps. And so we're trying to confirm which way everybody is shooting. Okay, we're good. Thank you. Have a good day. And we're underway. Opening tip won by the Elite Bulldogs. Sam K sorry. Patrick Lannepakin, bring out the floor. It was Kato who won that. As that goes, three from outside. Need a little bit of help, Lannepakin. But they all count, it drops. Andre Arasol to bring up for the first time for the Thunder. Picked up by Gyro, goes inside. Batted around. Good. Put back, and Sangu. Lannepakin. Duru, trying to work now on Hafiz Sattul. Kicks out. Keita, tough finish. Arasol. Using that screen, gives it back. Hafiz Sattul sinks the triple from outside. And we're tied, five to five. Thunder, by elite Bulldogs. Heaps fixed per summer league. 
Keita drove and finishes. No call, went through the contact. Tom Ward. That experience Tom Ward being with this Wigan Thunder team a long time. Kicks it in Sangu, spin move. Can't get it to go. John Gyro. Over the top to Chuck Duru. Can't get it to go for his first bucket of the game. Arisol. Just off the mark from the strike, Kai Walker. What an explosive season he had in D2. Keita, deep three, can't go. Walker. Chuck Duru. Batted around into the hands of Tom Ward. Expect to see those two have some battles this season. Eze. Just off the mark for on Eze. Played Augustana. Deep, uh, SD. His basketball last season. Puts it up, puts it down. Afis Abdul. Nana Pekin. Picked up by Eze. Inside to Keita. Lit up too deep. He's always ready to go off and post rise someone. Afis Abdul just off the mark. Gyro. He saw him down court. Gives off to Chuck Duru. To the hands of Ezzy. One point contact. Third game of the day. Tom Ward into the paint. In and out. Cater. Patrick Lanapakin. Into the mid range. Kicks out to the top. Duru. Just a little short that time. All the way out to Hafiz. Abdul puts it down. And Thunder stretch their legs. 10 to 7. Lana Peckham. Gator, oh, gives off to Kai Walker. The reverse. Beautiful finish, Kai Walker. Just like that, it's a one-point ball game. Oh, good that time. Hafiz Abdul at the elbow. Lana Beckin. This guy's back to Gyro. Ward, little give and go, now it's Hafiz Abdul, hits it from outside once again, and himself, 11 of the 13 points scored by Thunder so far, Lana Peckham, step back at the elbow, a little too strong for the hands of Ron Eze. Sam Keter trying to pick his pockets, Hafiz Abdul, Back to back, triples from Hafiz Abdul, and that sends Stephen Andrew full time. 16 9 the score, and they are really struggling, the elite, to deal with the outside threat of Hafiz Abdul in particular. Thunder have started this game real strong. They're at 16 tonight. It's the first time out from the Who's Fix Prime Summer League 22. We'll be back in just a moment. This brought to you.
Welcome back inside the Seal and the Basketball Academy. So an early timeout taken by Stephen Andrew. In these parts, I call those a Mark Clark timeout. In my opinion, Mark Clark, a coach who he doesn't wait to see things get really away from how he wants them. If it's not going right, he'll call a timeout at any point. Don't worry about that. Back underway, Thunder Bulldogs. 16-9, Thunder in the lead. That's been uh, turned over, it'll be Thunderball. It's Ron Fontaine into the contest for the first time. This two is Malake Bacciada. Paul and Jackman to the corner, thought about pulling it up. Matthew Bryan Ammoning also in the contest for the first time, so it's been a full line change. Going up, met by Chuck Duru, LJ Morris. Played his basketball last season, NCAA D3, Emmanuel. After playing some of his younger ball at the Governor's Academy. And straight away, nearly put him on, on Chuck Duru. Had a great season this year for the Westminster Warriors. Vasquez de Ramiro. Doesn't go from outside, but a good, confident rebound. Franklin Agu. Pochi Adam. Oh, no look pass. <laughs> so close. It's Kai Walker getting ready to check back in next time. That's strong through contact, Chuck Duru. 17 plays, 11, so a one-point foul has been awarded to Thunder at some point. NBA going to work on Duru. So, foul on the floor. So, a blocking foul as Kai Walker checks in. Sitting down will be Chuck Duru. That's his second personal foul already in the contest. Orlan Jackman finds NBA. These two play together at London City Royals. NBA picking up the foul, Matthew Bryan Ammoning. Patrick Lanapakin. Six points the difference, 2.20 left. Running clock, remember, in the first three periods of play. And then the first eight minutes of the final period, only the final two minutes of the game. Well, we have, oh my goodness, what a pass inside. Matthew Bryan Ammoning finds LJ Morris, who puts that one home. Lana Pekin, how does he respond? Finds Sam Cater. Sends Fontaine flying. Underneath LJ Morris, very physical play. Very physical play indeed. The referees are letting him play. And Sean Gyro checking in, as does Chuck Dury. Lana Packen sitting down. Shot can't go, Kai Walker. In some cases, sat down. Chuck Dury. Ramirez, Vasquez Ramirez really did him with the uh, the fake out, but got his own player a bit too good there. Kai Walker not able to receive that pass. 102 left in the opening period of play. 19 plays, 11. Ishmael Fontaine, Matthew Bryan Amening. Long two, just off the mark from Ishmael Fontaine. Orlan Jackman gets it. Can't finish. Brian Ammoning battling underneath. Gets the call. Against Franklin Agu. 25 seconds left in the opening quarter. Matthew Brian Ammoning. Going to work on Franklin Agu. Can't get it, so great stand by 
the young man, Agu. Kai Walker, time to shoot it. Chuck Duru. Calm head. Picked up by Ishmael Fontaine. Gets by Matthew Bryan Avening. That's all ball. And that's going to do it at the end of one. Thunder up 19-11 over the elite Bulldogs in game three of the Hoops Fix Pro Summer League 2022 brought to you by Jordan Brown. Second quarter is moments away. Thunder Bulldogs, game three of week three. Hoops Fix Pro Am Summer League brought to you by the Jordan Brand. We've had an absolutely wonderful first two games and an absolutely enthralling first period of play. Worthing Thunder have come to play today. The League Bulldogs down by eight. Do not count them out at all. All of these can go off. They've got some serious dunking talent on the floor. The Elite Bulldogs right now in Keita and Kai Walker. So get ready for some poster action. We've got plenty of fantastic photographers and videographers in the arena. Make sure you're on the Hoops Fix social media channels for all the amazing shots. After the fact, Andre Arasol gets us back underway. He's held up outside. Orlin Jackman pulls up from the elbow. Just a little bit too far on that shot. Chuck Dury. Inside to Keita. Trying to centre the corner. Veron Eze. He was with it. Gets by Keita. And uses the glass. Puts it home. Ojaya Taylor. Coach Ishmael Fontaine. Both enjoying that on the sideline. Here goes Sam Cater. Reverse shots and then there's what well, Sam Cater just did. Beautiful stuff. All in Jackman. Oh, he tried to feed. Tain Sangu. That's good through contact. Top finish there, Reese. Sandemol. Andre Arasol looking for that spin move. Chuck Duru, great job, had a hand in there. Kai Walker is going to elevate through contact. Keta gets it, tries to go back over his own head. Tap defense in Sangu. Andre Arasol. And that's a blocking foul called on Reese Sandemol. That'll be his first foul. And again, the pace of play is through the roof. NBL talent on the floor right now and it really shows in the style of play all in Jackman just off the mark there of course playing in the NBL now he's also seen time in the BBL and Europe LJ Morris finds a finger roller in Andre Arasol is going to pick that up outside Arasol finds a lane puts it home beautiful finish Andre Arasol, he's got the waiting bench off their feet, 23-15, make that 17, Reese Sundermann, Sean Gyro looking at checking in next time, as it goes up from Andre Arasol, it goes down from Andre Arasol, the three is good. 
Chuck Dury. Kai Walker has that strip. And in fact, it goes within Thunder. So fantastic defense. Last touch, Kai Walker. Arisol. Sean Gyro putting on defensive moves, but Arisol, guess where he wants to go? <laughs> Company. Didn't finish. Jackman strings it. As they say in London, that is light work for all in Jackman outside. Kai Walker thought about the three. Sends it in. Through the hands of Keita. Turn off the foot of Nsangu. Mayawan Mohammed to check in for the first time. Kai Walker taking a seat. Chukduru inbounds to Keita. Beautiful finish off the glass, Sam Keita, that lefty finish. Bulldog down by 10 now. Both sides know they're in a battle. Keep them close early, you never know what's going to happen in that second half. LJ Morris tries to elevate. So one point foul. They decided that LJ was in his approach to score. Peace Abdul is going to check in next time. Gyro. Keita. Mohammed. Good patient. Spilled finds Keita inside. Everywhere he goes, he's got a Worthing player guarding him. And a foul, a one point foul. I think that has been called on Mohammed. Matthew Brian Ammoning calling for the unsportsmanlike. I don't think it's going to go his way. We'll see. It is an unsportsmanlike. So the basket is good. And Maya Mohammed has been given an unsportsmanlike foul. So two points awarded, and it is possession for the Worthing Thunder. So a huge swing. And of course, if it's another tech or unsportsmanlike foul, then that's his day done, unfortunately. Matthew Bryan, Ammoning just goes to work on Sam Cater. Tries to claim that he's too small. Keita will love to get that back on Ammoning. The triple can't quite go that time. Oh, Keita flies to the rim, puts it home. Had time, had the wherewithal to readjust the shot as well, just in case. Travel is the call. Patrick Lanapekin to check in. Reese Sundermott. Taking a seat, as is Sam Cater. Franklin Agu playing his ball in Midland Juco, Londoner. Though he is actually transferring to Western Wyoming next season. As the three just off the mark into the hands of Fontaine. Looks off Tom Ward. Pass was to Bocci Yadam, who had grand plans with that play, didn't quite come up for him. Under three minutes left in the second quarter. Agu underneath gets it to go. And the Bulldogs, again, they are living with them. 11 points the difference, but they're still battling. Loads of time left. Ishmael Fontaine finds Bocci Adam. Oh, no look pass underneath to Fontaine. And a travel is the call. It was in and out of the hands of uh, Fontaine. And 
substitutions on the floor. Kai Walker checking in. Sin down, Maiwan Mohammed. With his thunder unchanged. Bocci Adams going to go and deal with the threat of Kai Walker. Frank and Agu puts on the burners. So that's a one point foul. It's been assessed to Matthew Bryan Almaning in the act of shooting. That's his second personal foul. First team foul for the Thunder in this period. He's had the Oh, rejected. Kai Walker. Franklin Agu. Can't get it to go off the glass. And he went to try and keep that back in play. Took his eyes off the ball at just the wrong moment. Obviously, he's looking where the pass going to go. Had to secure the ball first. 34 play 24. 116 left in the first half. Matthew Brian Hammoning. Trying to school Agu. He wasn't taking none of that. Stayed with him every step of the way. Tom Ward. Hit it back to Matthew Brian Hammoning. Triple attempt off the mark. Kai Walker pulls it down. Let's get over the timeline. Bocci Adam, really good defense. It's still into the hands of Kai Walker. Now Sean Gyro. Tries to send it inside. It's come off of the leg. Final 33 seconds. Of the first half. 34 play 24. Matthew Brown Amarang turns that over. Patrick Lanapak and gets it back inside. Kai Walker! Jams it home. <laughs> Matthew Brown Amarang spin move goes behind the back. No look pass to the corner. Tom Ward drives, kicks. Three's on the way, nothing but net. Malakai Bocci Yadam, Franklin Agu. Off the glass, can't go. That's going to do it at the end of the first half. Worthing Thunder up 37 to 26 over the Elite Bulldogs in an absolute classic already. Here at the Hoops Fix Program at Summer League 2022. We'll be back in three minutes' time, and you know we're being presented by the Jordan Club.
Well, a warm welcome back and a huge thank you if you are choosing to spend some of your Saturday with us here at the Hoops Fix Pro Am Summer League 22. Brought to you by Jordan Brand. Make sure that you are following Hoops Fix on all the social media Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram. It's all there. Just search Hoops Fix. And of course, hoopsfix.com has all the information you need for this tournament and all the news about British players here and abroad keeps you in the loop and a huge thank you like I say to everybody involved in the game and the games this weekend allowing us to present you an absolute beautiful exhibition of British basketball talent Hafiz Abdul has 14 points at the half his side with Thunder up 37 26 Sam Cater he's got 10 in reply for the elite Bulldogs The Bulldogs in the red uniforms, they are on the floor already. They are ready to go to work. Agu, Duru, Gyro, Walker, and Lana Pekin are all out there. Ready to go. Worthing Thunder taking their time a little bit more. Leo Page about to give them the hurry up. And again, if you are enjoying at any point in this game, make sure that you like, leave a comment, what have you enjoyed who stood out to you, all these kind of things. Get that British basketball conversation going and share across your social media platforms and your dog's social media platform. If they have their own Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, you name it, let's share out there. Best in British basketball right now this weekend. The Who's Fix Pro out Summer League. Brought to you by Jordan Brand as Gyro. Hands off to Chuck Duru on the outside. Duru tries to send it to Kai Walker. Hands in there. Over Ron Eze. Pass out to Tom Ward. Down low now. Time Sugu. Out the hands of Ron. And it stays, in fact, with the elite Bulldogs. That's oh, a one point foul. Foul called on Sean Gyro. So one point has been awarded to the Worthing Thunder. 38 plays 26. Remember, we're not playing free throws until the final two seconds, uh, two minutes of the ball game. Chuck Duro outside. Boneless. Triple. Brian Eze sends it down low. Matthew Bryan Ammoning. Tough finish off the glass. Second, picked up by Eze. Chuck Duru. Going to work on Eze. It's into the hands of Tom Ward. Ward showing his pace. Malakai. Bochi Adam showing off his three point range. It's back to back for Malakai Bochi Adam. Agu. Euro stepping his way into the lane, can't finish. Great work on the offensive glass by Gyro, but it has been turned over. Ward. What about Pulling up? Gives the NBA down low. That's an offensive foul. Great charge taken by Patrick Lanapakin. So that's NBA's third foul. No, correction. Second person. Second personal foul on Matthew Bryan Avenue. 23 plays 29. Triple just off the mark from Patrick Lanapakin. Wasn't happy with how his foot was set. Trent slide his right foot when he went up to take the triple as that's been well, dropped by Bocci Adam. Lana Pekin picks it up, wasn't alive to it initially. Gyro. Chuck Duru tries to send it inside to Agu. That's going to remain with the elite Bulldogs. Clock still runs. To no avail. Stephen Andrew trying to talk to the refs as Patrick Lana Pekin just off the mark from three. 
Sangu. Eze. Chuck Duru. Try and take it coast to coast. Kai Walker. Picks up on the outside. Bulldog. Three points in this period. Looking for much, much more right now. It's going to be Gyro to inbound. A little bit too slow on the timeout call that from the Elite Bulldogs coach is Lana Packer. Spin move. A <laughs> little bit of a travel. Timeout has been waved off. Subs on the floor. Franklin Agu and Patrick Lanapakin sit down and check in back into the contest. Junior, Junior Vasquez Ramirez and Sam Cater. Tom Ward on the outside. He's walking for that screen, gets it, rolls to the rim, doesn't Sangu, finds Bachi Yadav. Spin move, fade away, puts it down. Beautiful finish, Malakai Bachi Yadav, 45, plays 29. Waving Thunder in the lead. The lead Bulldogs are still with them, they're still fighting. Chuck Duru in another hands. Vasquez de Ramirez faked out, faked out, puts it down. That's <laughs> beautiful. Junior you Vasquez de Ramirez. Kai Walker to pick up for Ron Eze. Eze, sorry. Tom Ward. Battling into the paint, can't go. A strong defensive stand there in the end by Junior Vasquez Ramirez. Chaturu puts up the triple. Just off the mark. He was red hot last week from three point land. Matthew Brown Ammoning just keeps that inbound. Sam Cater with the foul. So subs both teams. So full assortment of substitutes for Worthing. Everybody out, everybody back in. Huge shout out again to Paige Robinson, who is running the live stream right now. Keeping me honest, make sure I'm clear on the foul count. As Orlin Jackman steps out of bounds. Gyro. Vasquez Ramirez. Vasquez Ramirez kicks to the corner. Kai Walker choosing to float it up instead of pulling the trigger on the three. Sam Cater battling, goes inside. He loves, he loves an unconventional finish and it goes. It's working for him. 45 plays 33. He's up all. Oh man, at the line. Chuck Duru as it's got home by Junior Vasquez Ramirez. Ten point the difference now. 45-35. Thunder still lead. Pulls up from outside. Andre Arasol can't go. Great rebound. LJ Morris. And a foul. Chuck Duru picking up his third personal. John Gyro uh, has two fouls for the Bulldogs. Just so that we are cleared away. Those are the only two in anything remotely close to foul trouble. And as uh, the players are just drying the floor underneath the basket. It's a 10 point contest. Now after that last make by, I think it was Vasquez Ramirez, I did have a little peek over to the Worthing bench, uh, see if Zaya Taylor was going to call time. He didn't, evidently, obviously. They just had that momentum moment of the Elite Bulldogs really starting to come into their own. And... Afiz Abdul 
Doesn't go on the three, straight from the catch. Vasquez Ramirez in and out of the hands, back into his hands. He's got Cater for company and he throws it down, slaps the backboard, lets them know they're in a ball game. Thunder with work to do now. Oh, Ishmael Fontaine got him with the dribble, the drive, the kick to the corner, and it stays with the Bulldogs. So two changes coming. Lana Pekin checking back into the contest as is Reece Sandemol. Kai Walker and Sean Gyro sitting down. Worthing Thunder remain unchanged. It's a score for a couple of moments for Worthing Thunder. Orlin Jackman has it. Picked up by Franklin Agu. Tries to shoot around him. Draws the foul. Gets the foul. That is what we call a veteran. That's a crafty move. One point awarded. And the conversation down the floor there with, with Agu and uh, uh, Diamond Hunter was, yeah, he's initiated the contact, but yeah, it's still a foul. You're still in his cylinder and he's out of, uh, you, yeah, you're in his cylinder, essentially. As that's been sent into the back court. Great, great pressure from LJ Morris. Sam Cater, though, going inside through contact. It's good! That's a three-point play the old-fashioned way. Six-point contest. Elite Bulldogs have battled. They've dug it out. That's a foul. Cater. So that's going to be a point going the way of Thunder. Chuck Duru checks in for Sam Cater. No changes for the Worthing Thunder. And the clock is stopped. So I don't think they've awarded that one point foul just yet in the arena. Ah, so Bulldogs are into the penalty. So, I'll explain. So, two points in a penalty is the, uh, it's the punishment for a foul. Agu in the corner, has been picked off by Jack with 30 seconds left in the third. Sent it to Andre Arasol off the glass. Good for two. And just like that, it's a 10 point contest. Sunderbolt finds Duru. Duru slows it down. Still Chuck Dury, he's been picked up by Orlin Jack. He's got seven to shoot it. Still Dury, still Dury through contact. Draws the foul from Hafiz Abdul. So that's a one point. And that's it. That's the end of the third quarter. So after three, Worthing Thunder are up. 50 to 41 over the elite Bulldogs. The Hoopsticks Prime Summer League 2022 brought to you by Jordan.
Welcome back in. Final period of play is just moments away. So the way this works. First eight minutes, running clock, as it has been all day. Final two minutes, regulation basketball. We have stop clock, we have free throws, all the good stuff that we enjoy. That is just to ensure that each game ends the same. Um, and ends the right way, I think it's fair to say. What I will say over the last three weekends of basketball action in the Hoops Fix Prime Summer League here at the City of London Basketball Academy brought to you by Jordan Brown. It's been played in such a brilliant, brilliant uh, fashion. Players have gone hard. They've been going to win. But the basketball being played has been absolutely brilliant quality. And again, great spirit. This is a brilliant place to be this weekend. Last weekend, next weekend, and the weekend after. Two more weeks. That's the great and the good of British basketball. Come to enjoy this summer league. Final 10 minutes of this contest is underway. Matthew Bryan Ammoning on the outside finds Tom Ward. Ward looking to stay in the corner. Sends it back inside to Matthew Bryan Ammoning. Kicks it out the hands of Ronit. Easy. Patrick Lanapekin. Still Lanapekin finds Chuck Duru now on the outside. He's got Tom Ward for company. Nine point contest. Lanapekin pulls up. Just, just short. Matthew Bryan Ammoning. We'll drop pass to Andre Arasol. Tom Ward elevates. And again, he's just off the mark, just left. And a long pass to Chuck Duru. So Junior Vasquez Ramirez checks in. Sitting down is Mayawan Mohamed. Vasquez Ramirez had himself a really nice third period of play. Be keen to get that back underway in the fourth as well. Chuck Duru. Able to retain possession. Vasquez Ramirez. Oh, it finds Franklin Agu inside. Sankata finishes. Stares down somebody. I doubt if that was Tom Ward. That's Arisol. Tries to float one up. That doesn't go. Some point the difference still. Junior Vasquez Ramirez. Oh, puts on the burners. Reverse rejected. All in Jackman. Not in his house. Gets him jumping, and NBA will finish off. Nine-point contest, Thunder up, 52-43 over the Elite Bulldogs. Keita just step back behind the line, strings it. And Matthew Bryan Hammoning for company. Beautiful make. One and Jackman. Draws the foul, so that's going to be miss on the three, so that's going to be two shots. Sorry, two points rather. Chuck Dury picks up foul number four. So that's Chuck Dury's fourth foul. So he'll need to be a little bit careful. And, uh, Stephen Andrew is just uh, heard as Chuck Duru now knows his foul count, so they both know. Coaching player. Duru is staying in the game. He feels that he's going to be able to play a disciplined enough game. He's such an important part of this team. As Gyro, sorry, Sean Gyro drives, kicks to Duru. Bats it around. Duru at the break. Just off the mark. Pulled down by Tom Ward. Ward pushing the tempo. Finds Jackman. Oh. Blocked by the rim. Veron Eze puts it home. Gyro. Drive. Kick. Vasquez de Ramirez. Just too strong. Batted into the hands of Chuck Duru. Gyro going in. Kato on the outside. 
Can't be long left in the shot clock. Gyro puts it down. With one second to spare. 56 plays, 48. Andre Arasov, step back. Just short on the triple. Fis Abdul started this game like an absolute house on fire. 14 points in the contest. Sam Keita looking to be subbed out briefly. There's Gyro under pressure from Ward, but he's maintained possession. Keita drove, kick. Ty Walker, eight to shoot it. Still Walker puts it up. Franklin Agu thought he pulled that one down. Five minutes left in the contest. Three minutes left of running clock action. Eze, good for two. Ten points the difference now. Thunder Bulldogs. Lana Peckins checking next time. As is Chuck Duru. Triples on the way. Cater too deep. Agu though. Pulls down that rebound with authority. Kai Walker is. He's rejected. Was there contact to the head? There was a foul called on Hafiz Abdul. So hit Kai Walker in the head. So points have gone the way of the Bulldogs. Who's sitting down? Vasquez Ramirez. Sits down as does Sam Cater. And a timeout has been taken by the Worthing Thunder. They're up by nine. As the players take a break, so will we. Back in just a moment. Hoop 6 Pro and Summer League 2022 brought to you by Jordan Brown. Welcome back inside. Four minutes, 12 seconds left on the game clock here. Worthing Thunder taking on the Bulldogs. Andre Arasol, wasting no time, finds Orlin Jackman, fakes out the triple, hands off to Tom Ward, kicks back out to Jackman. Spin move, fade away. Foul, so one point going to Worthing Thunder. Tom Ward is a really good three-point shot, like a legitimately fantastic three-point shot. I'd love to see Tom Ward shoot more threes. Hafiz Abdul, speaking of three-point shooters, Andre Arasol, can't go. Oh, Chuck Dur oh, rejected Tom Ward, but uh, still in the hands of Patrick Alanipakin. Gyro gets to the elbow, just a little short. Arasol, fake out pass to Eze. Duru, Agu, good off the glass for two. Able to elevate well there. 59 plays 51, three minutes and change left in the contest. Arasol, and it's a three point play. So the basket's good, Lana Peckard with the blocking foul. Deshmael Fontaine trying to make his way onto the floor. It's a little bit too 
eager. That comes in for Tom Ward. And he will pick up Patrick Lanapakin. Oh, that's for Jeflin, Gyro. Franklin Agu taking over the timeline. Goes to work on Jackman. Tries to kick to the corner. Very well taken by the person in the crowd. Lana Pekin with Andre Arasov absolutely all over him. The two ones going at it. Lana Pekin turns the corner. Chuck Dora on the outside. Still too strong on that effort. Back iron. Gives to Veronese. Fontaine skips it to the other corner. It's with Veron. Moves it around. Jackman. A little flat on that three point attempt. Gonna go the way of the Bulldogs. Keita checking in. We're inside two minutes of the ball game. And it's Franklin Agu has to sit down. 11 point difference. So now free throws and stop clock. Blocking foul. Gold on Eze. Lana Pekin gets to the break, just off the mark. Andre Arasov, 11 points of difference. Jackman, that's too nice. All in, Jackman, good for two. Lana Pekin sends it to the length of the floor. Kai Walker, good off the glass. Bulldogs still pushing the tempo. One ten left in the game, not an insurmountable lead. Eze. Just short on the triple. Big collision in the midcourt, but it's remained retained by Olin Jackman. Patrick Lanapakin finds Keita. Keita throws it down. Sam Keita a little bit ginger getting back though. That was a big collision with Olin Jackman. Off the mark for three on the outside. Fontaine pulls it down, kicks out. Fis Abdul. You know the result! Hafiz Abdul, triple! Just like that, it's 67-55. Ron Eze. Bounce pass, Hafiz Abdul. Back iron. Andre Arasol on the assist. Israel Fontaine, the triple's good. 70 on the board for the Thunder. Into the hands of Andre Arasol. That was aiming for Kai Walker. He's going to pull up the triple. He's just off the mark. Eze can't get that to go. Arasol kicks round. All in Jackman. Everybody trying to sink it from outside. Kai Walker, three to shoot it. Keita off the mark. That's going to do it at the end of this one. Worthing Thunder. Worthy. Winners in the end, 70 to 55 of the Elite Bulldogs. But do not let that scoreline fool you. The Elite Bulldogs were in this game, they were in this battle from the word go. But a brilliant, brilliant start from the South Coast crew of the Withering Thunder. Once they had that, they never gave it up. A couple of key performers, Hafiz Abdul had 20 points in the contest for his Worthing Thunder. Jackman had 10, Andre Arasol, oh, sorry, Jackman had 11, Andre Arasol had 10. Sam Keita with 24 points really led the way for the Bulldogs and they really shared the points amongst the rest of them. Chuck Doru, Kai Walker, six and five. Kai Walker, 11 rebounds, he was on the boards. Uh, Veron Eze, seven rebounds. Tom Ward with five. Andre Arasol shared the rock the most, he had four, Kai Walker with three assists. At the end of the game three on the Hootix Pro-Am Summer League 2022, brought to you by Jordan Brand. It was the Worthing Thunder taking it over the Elite Bulldogs 70 to 55.